The word crisis is in the air these days, and rightly so, it's a difficult time. But if we go back to the biblical word crisis, krisis in Greek, it means decision or judgment. In the New Testament, for example, the day of the Lord's judgment, the word judgment is crisis. The day of the Lord's crisis, the day of the Lord's decision. And we're called to make a decision in this time of crisis. As school children, we study about different periods in history, the Renaissance, the Middle Ages, yet we never imagine that we ourselves may find ourselves living through such times. And yet here we are at a moment in history in which not only are our institutions under attack, but the very idea of truth is imperiled. We're being told that our faith and our beliefs and our traditions that have sustained us for millennia are really cheap tricks to be discarded by the more reputable uh, offerings of science. And we're being told that the family, the church, and the nation, the three pillars that have held us up since time immemorial are really theaters of oppression designed uh, to kind of bring down the individual. This crisis leads to a lack of civil and fruitful discourse. It leads to erosion of families, it leads to the decline in our religious communities, and it leads to, in many instances, a collapse of mediating institutions. And in these dark times, we seek a publication, we seek a place, we seek a platform, we seek a community where we could come together and pursue the ideas that have always sustained us and shall continue to sustain us. And that place is First Things. This magazine, like the best faith communities, is not only a place where ideas are explored uh, boldly uh, and passionately with elegant writing and with moral and intellectual courage. It's also a community of writers and readers who get together to discuss these ideas and sustain each other and hold each other up. Uh, one of the great things about writing for First Things is I know that I'm writing for a magazine where the editor has your back. Uh, People ask me, how can Jews, Protestants, Catholics come together and be writers and readers of the same magazine? Well, it's simple. In this day and age, to trust that an ever greater obedience to God's word will humanize us is a countercultural conviction and it unites us together. First Things is a publication of big ideas, but at its heart, uh, it's also a publication of a very big spirit. It is a spirit that advocates having children, the spirit that advocates the sanctity of life, a spirit that advocates fealty and loyalty and fear of God, a spirit that advocates love of our country. These are the foundations that have made this nation so great. These are the foundations that have made this publication so great. And the two, it turns out, need each other. America needs First Things, and First Things is here to make sure that America relives up to its covenantal promise and renews its spirit soon. Amen. We have an ambitious goal. By the end of 2023, we will seek to raise a million dollars from a thousand donors. That's an ambitious goal, but we have ambitious plans. First Things needs to be a stronger voice for the moral and spiritual renewal of the West. In this time of crisis, you need a trusted partner. Please decide to make First Things your partner and donate to our year-end campaign.